Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder, and in this video, I want to take you through the installation of a key light loft leather. Now, like all key lights products, they've introduced innovation that not only makes it easier to install, but also makes it easier to use. Now, having spent most of my working life as a plumber, I consider myself to be a bit of an authority on loft ladders. I've opened a great many, and it's always with a bit of trepidation. In fact, the householder here is telling me that every time they open the loft, they're worried about the loft ladder coming down, hitting them in the teeth, or even trapping one of their fingers. So they're very, very pleased to see it going. In the key light range, there are 19 different sizes of loft ladder to take into consideration the available opening size and also things like the floor to ceiling height. But it's very likely that there's gonna be a ladder in there that suits your property perfectly. But before you start cutting out the roof timbers, there are a few considerations that you need to make. And if you've never done this sort of thing before, I highly recommend that you get a professional involved. But the good news is it's a one man fit. So even if you do hire somebody to do the job, it's a very quick and easy job that can be done by one person. I've had a measure up here and I'm just double checking the dimensions. And I reckon that this ladder that's in here at the moment isn't really utilizing the space that well. I can actually get a slightly bigger ladder in here at 1200. So I've selected a key like 05 and I'm just gonna cut this opening out a little bit more to maximize the space. I think it's always handy to have as much room as you can when you're carrying those suitcases and things up into the loft. So now I've got the wrapper off and I'm gonna unpack it, but it's important with these two battens that you don't think they're packers and throw them away because they are integral to the fitting. With this unique flip fit bracket, you'll see how that works, but it allows you to put it up very easily into the hatchway. We're gonna take this ladder off the hatch to lighten the load. That's another unique feature of this ladder that that comes off. And this handrail, which is supplied as standard, has to be loosened and lifted up. It's in the transit position at the moment, so we'll lift that out of the way, and then you'll see that we can take the ladder off very easily indeed. Okay, now I've tightened that. I'm gonna take the ladder off the hatch and this is a really clever bit. This is actually the opening pole, if you like, for opening and operating the ladder. The battens are pre-drilled and sized to receive the brackets. So here's one of the unique features of this loft ladder that makes it so easy to fit. And that's this flip fit bracket. And it's this feature which allows you to install the ladder from below the loft. Now when you come to tighten this up, the best thing to do is position these brackets so you're sort of halfway on the slide there. And that way, when we cut the bottom of the feet to suit the height, we allow for the fact that the customer might change the carpet or the floor covering. They might suddenly decide they want wood flooring or something. So it allows you to adjust that ladder up or down it's kind of future-proof. <laughs> it 
you know that's never happened to me before i was expecting that to have to be adjusted one way or another but it seems like i struck lucky this time and got exactly the right height now if it was an inch or so out i could raise it or lower it on the brackets here but if it's more than that you're going to have to cut it and the way you do that is that you leave that section straight there and then you just take a measurement this is what i was expecting to have to do and we take a measurement from the floor to the bottom of that style there which is 990 in this case and then we fold that section down and we measure 990 on there and then we make a cut but the great thing is that that isn't an angled cut you don't have to worry about that because what you actually get in the kit is a couple of plastic scratch resistant feet so if you've got a wooden floor or something nice there it's not going to damage it and then once you've made your straight cut at the bottom that small adjustment you just slip on these feet which are already angled they're a real snug fit those and there's a screw that's countersunk into the bottom of both of those to keep them in place and then really from the installation point of view i just got to do that trim around the top put the architrave around fill in any gaps and it's ready to go but from the customer's point of view so far everything i said is about the installer but from the customer's point of view they've got an insulated draft proofed hatch here which has actually got a u value of 1.1 so that's not bad going at all and also these treads are dovetailed into there good old-fashioned dovetails and they're slip resistant as well so really this is a ladder that's going to delight the customer and give them years of trouble free service and i reckon once they tell their friends about it i'll be fitting a few more of these <laughs>